Thank you, Madam Speaker, for the opportunity to also contribute to this very important motion. I must admit I'm also a member to this particular committee. And the case we are talking about, Madam Speaker, in the case of Cyton, is really, really robbery without violence. Because we have cases where Kenyans have lost millions of their savings in retirement by very few intelligent people who form very legal companies like what Saiton has done, but all with the main purpose of robbing Kenyans. Madam Speaker, it is very shocking that even when we thought that the Capital Market Authority would be able to regulate, ensure that this kind of theft would not actually happen. We were actually very shocked in this particular committee to find that uh, companies who want to just steal from Kenyans, they make a choice not to register with the authority and nobody has any say to follow them. So in the name of Madam Speaker of trying to control what happens in the economic scene, we realized in the case of Saiton, they only register one company legally and they have another five or so unregistered forms of, I don't know whether to call companies or shades of companies, that are actually used to steal from the Kenyans. Madam Speaker, I think this house, even when we talk about the implementation and all that, we must realize that there are people who have died because of the money they have actually lost in this particular Saiton case, the loss they actually have incurred. So it is a very serious issue that I would beg the House, as we even endorse this particular uh, report uh, with the amendment, I would actually request the implementation committee to pick it with speed and ensure that the less the people, people who are left out of the 4,000 do not also die before we see the light of this particular report. Secondly, I've had one of the honorable members uh, say that uh, it seems like now, and we are really realizing that from the public com uh, petition committee, when most of the Kenyans have to report their cases to parliament, what does that tell us about the agencies we have set to ensure that Kenyans get a fair share or, or enjoy their rights? It is very unfortunate. We have the ESCC, we have the DCI, but now, the public petition committee is turned to a court because most of these cases are not being addressed. And I wish this house we ask ourselves this question. What is wrong with our system? What is not working? And how can we improve it? So, Madam Speaker, I would wish this house uh, treat the adoption of this report and uh, even um, implementation as an urgent matter. Because out of the 4,000 people, who are affected, some are dead, and the few are alive, because some took their retirement, and all of it, 10 million, 15 million, somebody puts it in Saiton, and you are told you have nothing, even in including that house. So I, I pray, and I'm sure my committee members agree with this, I pray that this report is not only endorsed by this house, but the implementation committee picks it with urgency, so the recommendations we have given goes into action. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Thank you, Honorable Susan. Remember, members, we are debating the motion as amended by Honorable Atandi. The next chance will go to the member for Molo, Honorable Kuria Kimani. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Honorable Speaker. And I would like to congratulate my colleague, my, the Honorable Member for Lagos, Honorable Atandi, for bringing this to the attention of the House and the Public Petitions Committee for uh, executing this report, Honorable, uh, this petition, Honorable Speaker. Kenya Honorable Speaker